Welcome to A1 Tactical Videos. My name is Horace Park. Today we're going to show you how to wire up a 9 lead Copeland compressor, 230 volts, one contactor. All right, right now we're going to start one of our A1 finished compressors. I've removed the terminal box because we're going to show you how to wire the compressor up for 230 volt, one contactor. This is our goodie bag that comes inside your terminal box. I'm going to dump it out here on the table. It's got all our jumper bars and insulators. And when we're wiring it up for 230 volt, whether it be part one start or one contactor, we're going to jump the bottom terminals, which are four, five, and six. We've taken the module out here. You normally know, there would be the module with all its little control circuit and module power wires here. But like I said, to be able for you to be able to see it as well as you can. We've taken it out of the picture. We have our insulator, goes on the top two, our jumper bars, this is a jumper bar configuration right here of what you would want to see for one contactor on 230 volt for a 9 lead Copeland compressor. I'm tightening these up with a nut driver. I think you should use a socket and just snug them down pretty good. You never want a loose connection when you're dealing with electricity and you always want a metal to metal surface. We're going to put our three lugs here on the top three terminals. From your contactor, you would have L1, L2, and L3. This is for 230 volt, one contactor, Copeland 9 lead compressor. It's just that simple. Thanks for watching.